So we got a trial by combat. Maybe not as bloody as Game of Thrones, but it was still a nice watch. So, this episode focuses on Amanda. I'm fine with this, because I actually really like Amanda's character. I've been a little bit upset that she hasn't really been in the spotlight that much in the TV series of Little Witch Academia, and I'm really glad to see how there was finally an episode focused on her. Hopefully the other characters get a little bit more focus as well, because if Amanda can get it, definitely Constance and them might be able to get an episode for themselves as well. But anyways, though, let's focus on Amanda. So... This is an Amanda episode, so as I've already said, if you like Amanda's character, like you like her design and all that and what you saw from the OVA and movie and the previous episodes of the TV series, you're definitely gonna love her in this episode because it really, really establishes her character and how she can have this chemistry with Akko, but also how she can really just drive the episode. If it wasn't for Amanda, this episode wouldn't have been as good as it was because she was like the main character of this episode. Even though Akko was there, she was the main character. She was what really drove this episode to be so good. So many great scenes throughout the episode. And I was like, damn, Amanda, I really love your character after watching watching this episode just because you were fantastic the voice actor did a very good job with each individual scenes but also when she changed into the suit and all that I thought you know she might change you know her character or whatever like she would go a little bit out of character from what we've already saw but she stayed in character like she's always been and she just acted like she was just being very rude or impolite and all that and I really love that about her and so seeing that aspect of her character not change and she stayed in character throughout the entirety of this episode i'm like yo yo job well done studio trigger for giving me this great episode with some great characterization with amanda so the plot of this episode like the conflict is mainly finding the holy grail in this school now at the end of the day the holy grail doesn't turn out to be that much overall it just has like some form of demon locked away inside of it and thanks to the issues in this episode it caused it to where the demon came out got into a suit of armor took control of one of the you know the main kids of the school and then you know amanda and akko had to stop it so that's kind of the conflict of this episode and speaking of the conflict i like how at the end of the episode the way it was concluded it didn't end in a misunderstanding it didn't leave us on a cliffhanger where we we're wondering oh shit how much trouble is Akko and them going to get into in next week's episode or if they were going to get into a lot of trouble like it was just going to be very bad but that didn't happen the actual nobles or th these high class kids even the one that was in the wrong that usually would be the stuck up rich kid and you know he would still think he's in the right even if he lost he actually had some form of character development I'm like Bro, what? Like, yo, 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 yo. Like, I've seen a lot of shows, okay? And I've seen so many rich kid type characters that even though they are in the absolute wrong and they have all of their flaws exposed, they still will act like they're in the right. They will go run to their father, mother, whatever, you know, someone of high authority, and they'll be like, oh, you know, they did this, they're the ones in the wrong, even though they know inside themselves that they did wrong. They were a very bad man or bad girl, whatever. They, they were bad. They did something really bad. And I like how... The rich kid admitted he was in the wrong. What he did was stupid. And I'm like, bro, what? Like, we're actually seeing this character have development. I mean, most likely this character is probably not going to pop up ever again. But I was just really happy with Studio Trigger for that little twist at the end of the episode. Because it wasn't the stereotypical, oh, Akko and them getting in trouble. Or, you know, the rich kid, you know, winning at the end of the day because, you know, they're a rich kid and they're, they're snobby and they won't admit they're wrong. I'm just glad that the rich kid said it straight. Andrew as well, he actually said it straight as well. And he stayed in character with what he said. So just like, conclusion of the episode solid it was solid good shit studio trigger so speaking of andrew so andrew is once again in this episode and he's popped up quite a few times throughout the series so far and i gotta admit i really like his character and 
I really love the dynamic between him and Akko, and as I've already said many times, I ship him and Akko together, and every time I see more of them together, I'm like, oh yes, 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 the ship is happening. Now, I know the series is not about ships, don't get me wrong, it's just it's nice to see these two characters, and to see that maybe eventually Akko is going to show him that magic isn't, you know, dying and all that, it's really good, and then he's probably going to fall in love with her, and then it's going to be some crazy stuff towards the end of the series. I'm just really looking forward to something like that if it does happen, and so... Mainly this episode, besides just focusing on Amanda, once again, it was building up Andrew's character and kind of what type of role he's going to play at the end of the series. Because obviously, with how he's popped up so many times already, and he's kind of on the side to where he doesn't really care about magic, he's definitely going to play a vital role at the end game of the series, especially when Akko, you know, unlocks all the words and all that magic probably becomes important again or whatever. I could see him being the crucial driving force for the plot at the end of the series, maybe even the epilogue, maybe his his, you know, overall role is at the epilogue of the series, not actually the end game. Maybe he'll just play his role once everything is, you know, said and done, villains out of the way, and all of that. So, yeah, Andrew, once again, a little bit more characterization in development for him, and Akko as well, just showing that she is still striving to unlock these individual words and all that, and, you know, uh, complete her goal. So, that's mainly what this episode was about. It was a decent episode. I feel like it did its job quite well, even the fighting scene, oh my god, the fighting scene was pretty damn good, Studio Trigger job well done, and yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, I love you all so much, you have a wonderful day, or nights, wherever you live, please be safe, chibi out.